start the show. All right. Hopefully we're all still framed up. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here on KB.com. Joined here by Carrie Rhodes and Nikki Whelan, both from the movie Tragedy Girls. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to join us this morning to talk about this new film. The premiere last night during South by Southwest. How did it go? Well, actually, the premiere party was last night. The uh, premiere is tonight. Uh, the midnight section at 1155. So we're excited about it. I think uh, there's been a lot of buzz about it coming into the festival. So it's, we're excited. And what brought you both into the project, Mr. Rose? I know you're the executive, one of the producers of the project. Yeah. Right? Executive producer. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we, we got the script uh, a little bit, uh, maybe close to two years ago. I uh, got the original script, and uh, I was intrigued by the, the original script, which was never never a finished product at that point. But uh, I saw the potential in it then and took it. It was my baby from that point, and just kind of nurtured it to the point where it is now. And seeing it on screen now, it's been... It's been uh, it's been, it's been a revelation because it's it started from, it started two years ago and it was just this little tiny tiny little project that we thought had a chance and now it's here on the big screen which is which is remarkable so. What about you the project? Um, well, my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so hard to uh, you know we're always split apart with work in the industry so whenever we have an opportunity to work together we always do and we always try and work with the people that we love and that we're closest to especially when we have control over a project which we barely ever do so the good thing about this is um, the few projects that you've put together by yourself have all become so successful and this one was really exciting so I'm so stoked to be a part of it it's really something really different about it. I think people are going to love it it'll be one of those things that be where everyone wants to dress up as the girls um, at Halloween time without getting way too much. And it's really got something special about it, especially when Carrie originally found the script. There's a few things about it that set it aside from everything else, which you'll see once you see the movie. But it's exciting and it's cool, and it's always fun to be a part of a horror film. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, speaking about it, can introduce us to this film. What's it about? Okay, uh, <laughs> without giving. <laughs> like don't give say, too much away. We don't want people to exactly. Without no giving here, too please. much away, I mean, it's. it's uh, it's two two high school friends who are uh, who are obsessed with the horror genre. So they're they're fans of the horror genre in general. Uh, they go out on this great expedition to uh, kind of submit themselves as such. Uh, <laughs> without giving much away, I mean that's pretty much it. They go on this epic ride together, which is uh, going to have some scares in it, going to have some laughs in it. But it's uh, it's it's one of those things where it's. It reaches a broad, a, a really broad audience because of that fact. I mean, it's two high school kids that are friendly, lovable characters, people you will love to be around, your kids to be around, but they have this dark secret that they go up, go about and 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 make it and make it interesting for the community. So it's it's cool. And from what I was seeing about it, it does seem like it's a bit of a send up to other horror movies yeah. as well. So is that what we're going to be seeing as well from it? Yeah, it's definitely a play on some other things. Uh, it's it's actually. It's set in the present, in the present time, in, in, in present time, but it's also it's given an ode to like older films, uh, 80, 80 type. It's getting eighty vibes in it a little bit. Get some of the some of the music that way. So it's a uh, it's a it's a nice mashup of to of uh, different things and different genres put together. And I'm noticing it with a lot of films nowadays and a lot of shows like Stranger Things. This one seems like Ready Player One, which is next year. is a lot of eighties homages. Do you think we're going to be kind of coming back around and reliving the eighties a little bit? And the yeah, I think I think we all like ultimately want to go back to the '80s. I think that's part of our DNA. <laughs> for, definitely for the music. You can even see in the headline of Tragedy Girls the way it's written. It's very. It's almost like that movie Drive, like you know, the pink and sort of like the fluorescent sort of colors and stuff. And you know, we discussed this yesterday, but um, uh, you know, Rob Zombie tends to do a lot of his horrors you know, in the '70s, '80s set. And even though Tragedy Girls wasn't designed to be like that, it's kind of gone in that direction. There's always something more haunting about things that it's set in the 70s and 80s, and I don't know why, but um, Tyler, the director of this, really sort of somehow made this uh, sort of present in the film. And, you know, where we shot out in uh, Lebanon, in Kentucky, I've got to say it was a beautiful location and very random, but the school we filmed at was this sort of isolated school in the middle of a cornfield. And so it sort of adds this whole sort of layer to the movie. This is, the, you know, the beautiful part about finding these random locations, but it sort of brought this vibe to it. So it does look like it could possibly be shot 20 years ago, especially um, with the school. <laughs> what's the thing about Tyler? Tyler, our director, he's very, he's, uh, he's, bri he's brilliantly twisted. Like, he's one of those guys that... Uh, he gets a lot of his inspiration from like, old, older guys, older from the older genres and old school stuff. So he's uh, he tried to implement that as much as he could, and really that's where he got his stuff from. So we really roll with that. 
And you said that the premiere is Sunday night at midnight for South by Southwest. Do you know when it's going to have the wide release yet? Uh, we're not sure yet. Not right. sure. So if you want to check out this movie, you're going to have to see it tonight at tonight. South by yes, Southwest. Go see it tonight. For the film. And where can people <laughs> line up to see it? Uh, we're going to, it's at State Side Theater tonight. State Side uh, 1155, so. 1155, Sunday night. Ms. Rhodes, Mr. Rhodes, thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Yep. <laughs>